Hello people, this is a video on how to quickly start uh, Zibo 737 and I did it because I couldn't find anything like it and sometimes I just I still want to have the satisfaction of starting the engines but I really don't care to go through all the things so but sometimes you never know what you need to do so that you get it flyable so okay so uh, let's try to make it quick so we are in cold in dark supposed to be so the first thing we turn on the battery there we go battery is on fuel pump on APU on wait for the slide to come up okay start your APU good now we have to wait for the uh, APU generators to be available so in meanwhile we set this up we have to do that in order to get these guys working so you go to pos position initialization put in your current location PWA okay now we turn IRS here to nav one two one two these guys are available I can click them on and this guy over here Good. These three will fill up. Now we move this guy twice to the right. And I, I honestly forgot what it's called there. I got a look. Heading, heading system. So be about one minute. Okay, so this is done. Uh, we close this valve. Or, uh, rather open it our pressure should go up over here we can turn one of these guys on good yeah and pretty much that's it turn the fuel pumps on these are coming up which is great and move your engine to ground where wait for the N2 to reach 25%. Well, I want to make it quick, but normally before starting engines, I would go and call ground, that call uh, ground service to push me, then I can start it, but now they have to push me while I'm running already. And this engine is starting. I don't know if they're gonna wanna push me now, maybe. No, no more ground services, they started the engine, so maybe, uh, maybe they still push me, let's see. Oh man, hopefully. Now I'm in VR, so it's a little bit weird. It's Enter. Round a cockpit, plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you are ready. Okay, so let's see if they push us still. Round a cockpit, tow is driving up. Okay, now there he comes. So they're still gonna push us, that's nice of them, even though we started one engine. Well, that you don't have to worry about that because we're just gonna do a a circle flight of sort. Aha! You have to uh, do your jaw damper. Oh, I might as well start the other engine. So again, just move it to ground. Wait for the N2 to reach 25. Okay, 
All doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Okay, he's gonna connect me. There we go, 25, and we're gonna start the engine. And yeah, that's it. So yeah, there you have it. In case you don't want to go through checking all of these and all of these and that and uh, spilling coffee or drinking it or... You know, I know it's not realistic, but it's not the point of the video. The point is, you know, in case you want to just do a quickie. Yeah, this is it. So connected ah, and actually, bypass no, pin inserted. This Release parking brake. Starting yeah, pushback. These guys on. So you don't freeze. Uh, depending on the weather, I guess. And now, now you can play with everything else. And you want to, before you turn off APU, you want to put the bus on your engines. And I can turn off the APO. I can set that. Now again, I run. I understand this is not realistic. It's just a quick way. So yeah. Set speed two hundred forty. Speed two four zero knots. Set altitude 3000. Altitude 3000 feet. No, oh, oh my god, really? I hate when that happens. I'm running X Live traffic. I've never tried it before. It's actually the first time I'm. We are in Warsaw, Poland. There's a lot of airplanes that don't belong. I said it's the first time I ever trying this flag, so I have no idea. And I always have problem with the push guys, push car guys, but maybe they will. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Okay, set the parking brake. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Yeah, so now you can do all the real things for a quick uh, circle fright. Yeah, I don't know, he, he doesn't leave from there. I don't know if it's the airplane problem or what's his problem. He keeps on sitting there. Dude, just leave. I don't know why he doesn't want to leave. Ah, oh, nice. What the hell is he dragging behind him? Yeah, I always problem with these guys. Leave, dude. So is disconnected and bypass and has been removed. Hand signal will be on the right. We'll see you next time and have a great flight. Airlines don't belong, but it's still actually pretty awesome. Cool. Okay, so.
I don't know why I keep on recording, it's just gonna take off. Oops. Yeah. See ya. that my frame rate is as good as it is. It's an older computer, VR. It looks pretty good, actually. Yes, I know, I didn't ask for clearance for takeoff or anything, I'm just grabbing that 737 quickly and I'm gonna hopefully nobody sees me so I can just run with it. Wonder why is he waiting there? It wouldn't hurt to log into ground. Okay, let's see where it's ground. Should have known that. W A okay. yeah. Turn com one one to one point nine or zero. Com one already set to one to one point nine or Hear them talking. Are oh, they going somewhere else? Sheet. Set com one to one one eight point three zero. Com one set to one one eight point three. Cool, he understands my accent, that's awesome. Yeah, this is an add-on called uh, Plane Command. And the guy is awesome. I just can't have him move my flaps because he doesn't get it, but... I have to move them myself. Mm. Let's see if I can talk to power, if I can get a clearance without flight plan or anything. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, let's try it. E T W A uh, Manufacturer Boeing Boeing Model Seven Thirty Seven Seven Thirty Seven Eight Hundred Flight Number Seven. No, seventy-seven. Fire flight plan. Tower. Okay. No, I just wanna. Seven hundred thirty-seven to eight hundred. Seven three eight. Warsaw Chopin. Altimeter two nine nine four. Altimeter two nine nine four. Altimeter two nine or nine or four. 
Warsaw Chopin, altimeter 2994 737 to 800 738. Yeah, I guess I can do I'm just gonna take off. I don't know, I just kinda wanna take off. I'm like breaking all the rules, but whatever. This is awesome. This is actually I, I have to say this is better than my cockpit. This really is. I I like it. The view isn't as crisp. Hopefully I'm not gonna Oh, there's somebody there. Shit. Are they taking off landing? What are they doing? Okay. Uh, I'll be okay. I think I'm gonna... Yeah, there he is. I don't know if you can see him, I can see him. But I should take off after these guys minutes. are waiting. Heading 330. Heading 330 degrees. Yeah, we said that we're heading, and there we go, nice and relax. And look at the scene. Oh! Okay, cool, there's supposed to be a short video about starting the airplane. So. Really nice frame rate, actually. Considering for what I get here, and I don't have necessarily a powerhouse computer, so I'm very happy. I'm using a few plugins to make it possible. So yeah, man, I love that screen. I really do. Like, I mean, it looks real. It was like, yeah. emergency seat now this plugin is called uh, VR tools and it is awesome for moving around because unlike in 2D you can't you can preset cameras so that thing helps with it Zippo 737, 
Oh, let me out. Let me out. There's nobody flying the damn airplane anyway. So what the heck is going on? Huh? This is, I'm actually like inside the cabin. This is awesome. Somebody spilled something right there. Oh, it's a shot. Oh, it's a shot. No, nobody spilled. Hey, people. Just a shadow. No, I sit my ass back up and move myself back to that pilot chair. Oh, the co pilot first. And you can actually choose it. Um, with this. No, you want to you can choose where you want to sit so I want to sit here no here and go to no, I have actually stood up in real life so I kind of messed up everything and we are not heading 330 because because I never put the autopilot on. Huh. Surprised we didn't crash. But I uh, yeah, whatever. Yes, yeah, so I'm definitely flying it like I stole it. No, seriously, x is amazing in the uh, images, yeah. I tried P3D and I couldn't reach shit in P3D like those gauges here, I couldn't reach shit. And I didn't have a real scenery. You can see imperfections, obviously. Oh, it's because I chose it. Oh, I see what I did there. So the reason it is darker is because it's a better zoom but actually it makes it look shittier darker there's some kind of effort I have no idea I knew that was gonna happen, I would just... get the normal zoom level, not... not like that, but it's darker here. Okay, anyway, that's enough for the video. It's supposed to be a short video called starting. 